Hey guys, it's the Cardist and welcome back. Welcome back to this deck review and this deck review is going to be on the Carnival Inferno playing cards. So let's get straight on into this and let's have a look at the front of the top case. Okay, so first off it has Carnival Inferno on the front and it has playing cards. First off you're going to notice with Carnival they like their skulls, they like all their fire, their flames, their reds, their dark bloody colours. That's what they like. But this is made to look like it's a book. So, for example, as you can see, it has like the binder of the book, uh, and it has like the pages just there. But first off, on the front, it has like a skull, and it has two skulls there of like these two little animals bowing down with all these flames and all these colours going on with the scroll work going around the outsides. It has brought to you by CarnivalInc.com with like the kind of that's the binder of the book. And it has the pages, and it gets like looks like it's going from the pages there. It has a black USPC seal. On the bottom, it has some corporate information that's like on the pages there. The bag design, as you can see, it has a red border, like a bloody border going around with this kind of gas mask looking with the horns, like a devil gas mask. And it has all these kind of symbols and a sun in the middle, and it is a one way back just due to the color because it goes like darker and then lighter here. But it's just a very dark, kind of a gothic-y theme deck to the Carnival decks and the skull-y theme. But enough of that, let's head into what you get inside the deck. Okay, so when you get in front of the tuck case, first off, as you can see, it continues within the inside and it stops and it goes white. That's one of my pet hates really with decks when they con they just stop this like really cool artwork and it just stops completely. So that's one of my pet hates when it comes to decks. So if you're thinking of making a deck, remember. <laughs> so first off you receive an advertisement card saying carnivalinc.com with a skull just there. With like the nice kind of scroll work just going around the outside with this kind of, as you can see, just coming out like this really like cool pattern in the background like the old looking look. And it has BM. BM, big, uh, BBM, Big Blind Media, and as it says, Visit for Magic Tricks, T-shirts, and this deck was designed by Sam Hales, that you probably know him uh, by now. Then you receive a few other things. You receive a blank card, so as you can see, this is what you have in the faces of the deck. You have this kind of sun-looking thing there, with kind of like, like a, looks like it's just burning away, and it's at like this bloody border on the front, and it's also on the back. The back design has a nice red border going around, with the kind of gas mask, with the horn sticking out, and it is a, as you can see, it gets like kind of this side. It's not centered, so it makes it a one way back, and because of the coloration as well. But it has like blood dripping, and it is just a really, really unique back design. Then you receive two jokers. Now, this one, as you can see, has no face, and then this one has one, but it's kind of like the demon who's coming out. This is like a normal guy with wings, and then this guy is a demon, and he's got his like kind of got uh, them big shiny eyes. Then what I find unique with this deck is it's all related to fire, so obviously you have like the red on the faces, so that means when you do a fan on the faces it looks cool, and also when you do a fan on the back it kind of just, it just throws you, it's really really nice. Ace of spades, straight away, in there with the fire. You've got the ace, fire, a skull there burning, and flames everywhere, as you can see it continues making them look all cool. Same with the two, not a lot of custom made, like not like the two and the pips haven't been customised or made new, they're just the standard ones placed on with like a glow around them on top of the background that they made. Okay, so as you can see with the three also, the three continues with the passing in the background with just the pips kind of placed on top of a glow around them. Continuing with the four, the five, the six, the seven, the eight, and the nine, and the ten. Then you get to the kind of custom royalty. As you can see with the Jack Queen King, they're not really customised, they've just been changed a little bit. They've got red eyes, as you can see there, with a kind of a um, devil's fork in their hand, and they're kind of they're the same as always, but they haven't been like kind of custom. They've just been kind of blurred out a little bit and added the eyes, and that's it. So, But they're kind of custom, but obviously it depends if you I believe they are, but it's up to you if you think they are or not. Then you get the Ace of Diamonds, as you can see, it has four custom aces. Big ace of diamonds there with a skull in there and a, like a, it has like a bloody border going around. Very, very nice. Same thing with the shadow around the ace of diamonds just there. 
Continue with the diamonds here for the two. You can see there's just a shadow with a standard bicycle pips. Then you get to the royalty as well for the diamonds. Same idea, kind of simply colours, not really much detail with the pitchfork there with the red eyes. Same with the clubs as well. You can see they've just got red eyes, that's it. And it has the tens, as you can see with the faded there, with the ace of clubs with a custom. Just there you can see it has like a faded skull there. Continues with the hearts as well. The hearts looks pretty cool with the royalty. And it continues with the hearts there as well. And with the custom heart there. So a really, really nice deck first off. But there is obviously a few changes I would have made. Like I would have liked it if the royalty kind of stuck with the stuck with the theme with the rest of the deck where it's all custom because um, it just goes from really really crazy design to simple and I think that would have been better if they went carried on with the crazy because that's obviously what we know them for but for the handling of the deck what's it like so for dribbling wise it's a nice bicycle stock air cushion finish so for dribbling obviously you guys know it's going to be able to handle like a dream as always it can do pretty much anything as it's bicycle now for a deck that has a lot of ink it can do it can do quite a lot. There is a downside to this deck though, I have to give it that, is also because it's got a lot of ink, uh, the Ripple Shuffle just to me feel a little bit not as nice, they feel a bit cl clumpy if I make any sense. And also you can see where it is a one way back. A fan with a deck does look quite nice, uh, you can't really tell it is a one way back, but you can just see which bit's lighter and which one isn't. You can do a ferro, quite easy with the ferros there, and with a giant fan, the same thing, you can't tell, it is a one way back. Then you can do a, you know, card production. You can, you can do, sorry, the camera went off, you can do a double lift and a colour change just there. And also, you can, you know, you can do everything you want, you can do spreads. You can do Charlier cuts, you can do everything that you would like to get it to do. There are some downsides to the deck, but let's get on to my overall opinion of the deck. Okay, so my overall opinion on the deck is it's a really, really nice deck of cards, but there is a few pointers. First off, I don't like how they just use bicycle pips um, and just stuck them on top of this really, really nice artwork, and it kind of just... This doesn't look 100%, if that makes sense. If I compare this to this... It just doesn't look as nice as the box kind of shows us. Uh, the royalty as well, but other than that, it is annoying. It's a one-way back because some a lot of their decks are one-way backs, but obviously it's because it's crazy designs. But it is a really, really nice deck, and I have to stress that it's a really nice deck. But other than that, I have no complaints. It's a great deck of cards, a nice, simple one for your collection if you like kind of gothic-style decks, but a nice deck all over. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, then why not give us your support and give the video a big old like or just down there. Why not click the subscribe button just there and why not check out the previous video just up there. That's it guys, you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.